in this demo we will see the concept of typecasting so let us start a new project console application i will say typecast example now for example i have two variables so i will start writing my program i will say int a the value of first variable is say 5 and then i have int b and the value of this variable is 2 now if i say console dot write line a by b if i say console dot write line a by b and i'll say console dot read line now could you guess the output 5 by 2 definitely we expect the output to be 2.5 as per our mathematical operations it should be 2.5 now let us see what it says the result here F i'll just press f5 it says the result is 2 it is not displaying the result as 2.5 it is displaying the result as 2 why so the concept is very simple i'll just start paint now if you observe this thing i'll say 5 plus 2 what is the value of 5 plus 2 it is nothing but 7 if i say 5.0 plus 2 then what is its result its result is 7.0 see that there is not much difference in mathematical concept 7 and 7.0 are one and the same there is very very less difference between 7 and 7.0 whereas in our computer world 7 and 7.0 has a lot of difference in their data structure now if i say plus 5 plus 2.0 definitely my result would be 7.0 if i say 5.0 plus 2.0 if i say 5.0 plus 2.0 my result would be again same as 7.0 the one thing that you need to observe here is this is my first operand and this is my second operand and this is called as operator if my both the operands are integer my result is integer here you see one of the two operands is double so my result is double you observe this if any one operand is double the result will be double so in the same way we are performing the mathematical operation 5 by 2 as we were performing 5 plus 2 in the same way we are performing 5 by 2 the result will be 2 why because 5 is an integer 2 is an integer so integer by integer will give rise to integer as integer plus integer is giving integer in the same way integer by integer will give integer now i want the result to be double so what is it i need to do i need to make either phi as double or 2 as double or both of them as double now i'll make phi as double i'll say 5.0 by 2 now this will give the result to 2.5 now the result will be 2.5 for this hope you might have understood now the same thing i need to do here we are okay we'll do one thing before proceeding for that i'll just simply write 5 by 2 i'll press f5 my result will be 2 now instead of 5 by 2 if i say 5.0 by 2 now the result should be 2.5 i got 2.5 either i can change 5 to 5.0 or 2 to 2.0 fine now what i want 
I have a by b. Now, how do I make this as uh, you know points? Can I write point here? Point zero. No, it will not take. Why? Because it is integer. So you may say that you know. Let us make it as double. Let us make it as double. Okay, this could be one of the solution. But this is not the correct way. Why? Because only once we want to perform division. But maybe you know n number of times we want to perform addition, subtraction, and multiplication. So in that cases, if I want to add two integer, it takes very 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 less amount of time when I compare it with adding an integer and a double. Are you getting my point? Adding integer and a double takes huge amount of time. Whereas it takes very less amount of time to add two integers. So maybe in my program, I need only once for division. Maybe n number of times I may be adding it. So addition of two integers takes very very less amount of time when compared to addition of an integer and a double. So you might have learned this concept in your computer organization subject. Anyway, uh, let us not dig into that. Now I don't want to change the data type permanently. I want it to be integer. But at the time of performing division operation, I want to make this as double. So how do I do that? I can do this by making a as double only at the time of division. So what I will do before a, I'll just put open bracket and close bracket. So in that, I'll write double. Now I'll execute this. So I got the result. What is that it performs? It will take the value of a as five, and it will convert this to double only at the time of this operation. That means it is not changing the data structure from integer to double permanently. Temporarily, it is casting it. It is casting it from integer to double. So this is called as type casting. Now, if you want, I can put a breakpoint. Now, what is breakpoint? On the left, you have this plane area. Now, I'll just click over here. It will give me a red ball, and this line gets red highlighted. If I click it again, that red ball gets disappeared. Now, if I click it once again, we'll get a red ball. So we call it as break point. We call it as break point. Our program execution will come till this point, and it will stop. Now, from there, I want to see the execution. I can just press F11 to see the execution one step after the other, or I can just press F5. to see the complete result or to ignore this breakpoint now i'll just press f5 now my program execution stops here you can see that uh, you know yellow bar that means um, my control is here now let us see what is the value of b i'll just take my mouse pointer on b then you can see that the value of b is 2 if i take my mouse pointer on a the value of a is 5 if i take my mouse pointer or if i select double of a my value is 5.0 that means i have converted or i have type casted the value of a from integer to double fine now i'll press f5 it will display me the result the result is 2.5 so this is very simple and very important concept see for example i i have uh, 5 billion dollars of business with me and i want to divide the profit in two equal shares to shareholder a and shareholder b so if i do not type cast this thing then i'll be simply losing 0.5 million dollar so that is not a small amount so what is that we need to do we need to go for type casting the concept is very small but very important thank you very much